What's up? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever. As you know, there's a bunch of different ways to keep your progress going the longer and longer you work out. Three of the different levers you can pull to avoid that plateau is increasing the intensity, increasing the reps, or increasing the load. What we've been doing a lot lately is keeping that intensity up while playing around with the load and the reps. Today, we're gonna stay on the clock. Another every minute on the minute, alternating every minute on the minute, where we're gonna go through six exercises and we're gonna go for five rounds, 30 minutes. Feel free to lower the round count as you feel. This will keep the intensity up a little bit, but we're not doing anything crazy with rep count today. We're gonna to do a lower rep count and we're gonna focus more on load. So we got the heavy bells out, two kettlebells, pick weights you're comfortable with, and let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start with alternating single arm swings. This is gonna put a lot of extra load on that single arm. Remember, push with the butt, hinge, squeeze the butt at top. We're gonna do 16 here. I think that was 17, but we'll take it. So I've got a good amount of time. I've got 30 seconds between rounds. Usually we're around the 20 second mark. So again, a little less, still gonna, still the intensity picks up, especially in the later rounds, but we're gonna focus more on load here. Next, we're gonna grab one bell and we're gonna do a plyo hop. When you get to get low, grip it with both hands and explode up. <clears throat> Reset at the bottom every single time. <clears throat> Push through those calves, use those legs. <clears throat> Hitting 10 here. Calves are burning. Love it. Again, 30 seconds left. Next, we're gonna go into a little calisthenics move. Um, a planche tuck. So you're gonna use the two kettlebells. Hopefully they're heavy or if they're lighter, you might have a problem with this. Just do crunchies. Um, but use them and tuck the knees up and you're gonna hold yourself a couple of seconds at a time. So go, try to aim for five to 10 seconds of holding, reset and back up. Squeeze that core. Working the shoulders, core, solid calisthenic move right here. Oh baby. One, one a little longer, about 20 seconds. Let's give this other bell some love. All right. Moving to clean from the floor and press. Try to do a strict press if you can. Clean, press, switch. Clean, press. You could use a little knees, but really try to work those shoulders. Four there, nothing crazy. Again, 30-ish seconds left. Oxygen efficiency, breathe through those nose, breathe through the nose. 
increase your lung capacity, strengthen the lungs. Next, we're gonna be alternating steps over, grab with your inside hand, and high pull. Grab inside hand, high pull. We're gonna do eight here. And last, we're going on the ground. Do some core work. Even though this was a bunch of core. Butterfly sit-ups, core tight, feet together. Squeeze when you're up. Try to keep that core tight on the bottom. You could also use a um, something right under your back to give you some arch support. I typically would use a pillow. Do eight to 10 here. And that's round one. Let's see. About 20 seconds left on that one. Getting the breathing going a little bit, but it's not too crazy. Again, we're keeping the intensity, you know, notched, but we're really focusing on load for this Iman this week. Grab two kettlebells, modify away. Let me know how you do in the comments below.